ngayon, magbibigay tayo ng uh, sample problem sa uh, lesson 5 natin. Gaya nung uh, na-promise natin last time, uh, para sa lesson 5, which is uh, use substitution, uh, magbibigay tayo ngayon ng uh, dalawang uh, sample problems, additional sample problems, additional din sa mga nabigay natin last time. So, bali ngayon, magbibigay tayo ng dalawang uh, sample problems. Yung isa ay yung given yung uh, evaluate na integral, tapos yung isa naman ay isang word uh, problem. So, simulan natin agad. Dito tayo magsisimula sa sample problem number 1. We have uh, to evaluate the integral of... Um, Tangent x, uh, second squared x dx by two methods. And so, meron na specify dito na kung anong method yung gagamitin. First, yung sa a is uh, to let uh, u equals tangent x. Tapos, uh, ikad, uh, pangalawa naman is uh, to let v equals second x. So, ngayon makikita natin kung pareho ba or magkaiba yung uh, lalabas na antiderivative nito. No? So, dalawang methods na gusto mong ipagamit sa atin. So, sa first uh, method, let u equals uh, tangent x. Ito, mas madali, no? Kasi yung du natin for tangent, ang derivative ng uh, tangent x is just uh, second x or second squared x dx, no? which is, uh, eto na agad. No? So, uh, if u equals tangent x, diretsong u, du agad yung um, equation natin. No? So, ito yun, no? Uh, u, du. Kasi nga, ito nga yung u, tapos ito naman yung du. So, agad-agad makukuha natin yung uh, antiderivative using power formula or ito nga kahit na ayun pa rin yung power formula pa rin kasi u to the n, n equals 1. So, n plus 1 equals 2 over n plus 1. So, uh, u squared over 2 plus c. Tapos, uh, substitute lang natin ulit yung u equals tangent x magiging uh, one half tangent squared x plus c. So yun yung uh, ito yung antiderivative ng uh, tangent x sec, uh, second squared x dx kung u equals tangent x. So, ngayon naman sa pangalawang method which is uh, sa letter b, v equals second x. So isang second x lang dito yung magiging v natin. So dv is uh, derivative ng second x is uh, second x tangent x dx. Okay? So, itong original na equation natin, pwede nating uh, gawing uh, tangent x, second x, second x dx. Kasi nga, dalawang second x naman to, no? Kasi naka-square. So, sa ganitong uh, paraan, pwede nating sabihin na ito, ito yung u, yung second x, yung tangent x, second x naman, is yung d, dv. Hindi pala yun no, v. So, this is the u, uh, this is the v, second x, tapos yung tangent x, second x, dx, is yung dv. So, pwede natin sabihin din na u dv, or u dv, v dv lang din yung case na to. So, parang simple lang yung problem na to kasi pwede mong i-work out yung uh, second x as uh, v tapos u equals tangent x. Ngayon, if pwede man i-apply yung power formula dito. No? So, para lang ni kanina, v squared uh, over 2 plus c. So, ang v natin is uh, second x. So, magiging 1 of second x squared x plus c. So, ngayon, mapapansin niyo na magkaiba yung antiderivative na ibibigay ng dalawang methods. Pero, kung maalala nyo yung trigo identity natin, pwede natin i-express yung second squared x in terms of tangent squared x para maging pareho silang dalawa. No? So, 1 half second squared x plus c since uh, second squared x equals tangent squared x plus 1, pwede natin palitan to, no? ng tangent squared x plus 1 plus c. Tapos, uh, distribute natin yung 1 half. Yan, no? Distribute natin yung 1 up dito at saka dito. So, magiging ganito yung uh, equation natin. 1 up tangent squared x plus 1 up plus c. So, ngayon, mag-introduce tayo ng bagong um, constant which is k where k is 1 up plus c. So, ito yung uh, ito na yung magiging final na antiderivative ng uh, equation natin kanina. 1 no? up tangent squared x plus k where k is 1 half plus 
C. So, parehong applicable na to. Applicable na to sa parehong A and B. Kasi both na tangent squared X na sila. Or, or, yun nga, no? Ito, ginawa na nating tangent squared X din. Plus K. Okay? So, yun. Yun na yung uh, sample problem natin na isa. Uh, second sample problem natin is yung uh, eto no yung word problem yan so so <laughs> a wound is uh, healing in such a way that t days since monday the area of the wound has been decreasing at a rate of negative 3 t plus 2 to the negative 2 uh, cubic centimeters per day so decreasing kasi may negative no? sabihin yung uh, area ng uh, sugat o yung wound paliit ng paliit as uh, t days t days increases or increase so if on uh, tuesday the area of the wound was 2 cubic centimeters what was the area of the wound on monday that's the first requirement and then the second what is the anticipated area of the wound on Friday, if it continues to heal at the same rate. So, big sabihin, ano yung estimated na area kung ganito pa rin yung rate ng pag-decrease ng uh, area. Sa A is Monday, tapos yung B naman is Friday. Mapapansin nyo sa problem dito, meron tayong binigay na given na if uh, T equals uh, ano ba to? T equals uh, 1, kasi 0 yung Monday, no? Kaka-start nung healing is a Monday, so Tuesday, that's T equals 1 because T is days. So, day 1 is Tuesday. Ang area mo is 2 cm squared. So, given yan as initial conditions or boundary conditions. Sana, sana maalala nyo yung boundary conditions natin. Uh, that's lesson 3. Finding the constant C. Okay? So, solution, uh, let A equals area in uh, centimeter square. No? Yun yung unit ng area. Tapos, T is this, yun naman yung given natin. Uh, area equals uh, this one, decreasing at the rate. And then you have T is this. Therefore, the change of area per, uh, per time or per day is ito. Ito yung decreasing rate ng pag-change ng area. Decreasing kasi may negative 3. So, negative decreasing. So, change of area per day. That's negative 3. Uh t plus 2 to the negative 2. Therefore, para makuha yung uh, area natin, pwede natin gawin ito, no? Na dA is just equal to, lipat lang natin dito, the change of area is just equal to negative 3 t plus 2 to the negative 2 dt. Therefore, para makuha natin yung equation ng area, kailangan natin i-integrate to with respect to time, so, or days. So, area therefore is just a negative 3 integral of t plus 2 negative 2 dt. So, lalabas lang yung constant tapos i-integrate yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, dito ma-apply na natin yung uh, u substitution or yung kabaliktara ng chain rule. So, since uh, d, t plus 2 equals dt, so ito na yung magiging u natin. No? And then, ito yung magiging du. Since yung derivative naman ng u is just dt, pwede natin gamitin yung theorem 2 ng lesson 4 or yung u du ng lesson 5. Okay? So, yan. Ang sinasabi lang dito na derivative of t plus 2 equals dt, ibig sabihin, itong uh, formation na to is meron kang g of x saka g prime of x or meron kang u saka du. So, pwede natin gamitin yung lesson 4 and lesson 5. Okay? So, A equals uh, negative 3, tapos ito, no? Theorem 2 ng lesson 4, T plus 2 to the negative 1, kasi negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 over negative 1. So, ito yung N plus 1, N plus 1. Tapos, uh, i-simplify lang natin, magiging uh, A equals itong negative 3 times negative 1, that's uh, positive 3. So, ito yung nasa taas. Tapos, yung T plus 2 na negative 1, malilipat yan sa denominator kasi negative 1 yung exponent. So, ito na yung final anti-derivative nung function natin na ito, yung kanina. No? So, ngayon, kailangan natin makuha yung constant na C no? para makakuha tayo ng exact exact anti-derivative 
para makuha natin yung required A and B, yung makuha yung area ng Monday tsaka Friday. So, pagkuha ng C, uh, balik tayo sa lesson 3, gamit yung initial conditions o yung natin na boundary conditions. Uh, on Tuesday, which is T equals 1, day 1, since mag nagsimula yung healing natin sa Monday, Tuesday is the day 1. Okay? Uh, Monday is day 0. And Tuesday is day 1, so T equals 1. And the wounds area is A equals 2 cubic centimeters. centimeters. So, substitute lang natin dito sa original equation natin. A equals 2 at T equals 1. Therefore, you can have C equals 1. C equals 1. So, yung equation natin ngayon, yung exact antiderivative natin is just A, 3 over T plus 2 plus 1. Okay? Ito na yung uh, exact na antiderivative natin para sa problem. So, ito na yung gagamitin natin para mag-solve ng uh, area sa Monday and Friday. So, Monday is just uh, T equals uh, 0. So, substitute natin dito yung uh, T equals 0. So, meron kang 3 halves plus 1. That's uh, 5 halves or 2.5 cubic centimeters. So, ito na lang yung area natin. O, ito yung originally yung area at sa Monday. Day 0 sa so, pag-start ng healing ng wound. Okay? So, at uh, B na T equals 4, 4 days kasi Monday is 0, no? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, T equals 4. Substitute mo lang yung uh, T equals 4. So, 3 over 6, that's 1 half. Plus 1, that's 1 and 1 half or 3 halves or 1.5 cubic centimeters. Centimeters square. Square centimeter, centimeters. Okay? So, uh, ang observe nyo, parang sa Monday hanggang Friday, nag-decrease na yung area ng wound. So, ibig sabihin, nag na yung sugat. Okay? So, ganun lang. <coughs> ganun lang yung, <coughs> excuse. Ganun yung application ng uh, integration sa mga sugat. Okay. So, yan yung example ng word problem. So, yun. Kailangan lang i-analyze kung saan yung dapat i-integrate para makuha yung uh, antiderivative. So, good thing na may binigay sa atin na boundary conditions para makuha yung uh, exact na antiderivative para sa problem. And then, makuha yung required na areas on given days na Monday and Friday. Yun, yun lang sa ngayon, no? So, kung kailangan pa ng additional na lalo na sa my students, uh, to my students, kung kailangan pa ng additional na problems, uh, magsabi lang, no? mag-PM or ano, para maano. So, I think, yun na for this uh, lecture, uh, for this uh, tutorial, uh, Kung hindi pa nag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na no, para updated lagi sa mga pinupost natin. And then, uh, yun. Thank you ulit and see you sa mga next uploads natin. See you sa mga next uh, videos. Thank you again and yun. See you.